This is your spiritual connection, ourplanetlife.org, broadcasting from Dallas, Fort Worth, Texas. Welcome to DFW Business Hour. I'm Art Garcia, your host, and today we have Jack Viveros with Viveros and Associates. Jack, welcome to DFW Business Hour. Good morning, Art. Very nice. Very nice to see you again. Thank you for inviting me. Today we're going to talk about financial investments. Uh, my first question to Jack is going to be, uh, with hundreds of financial advisors out there, what makes your services better than the others? Well, if you were to call one of my clients, I would say the vast majority of them, if not every single one of them would say is that I actually listen. I actually listen to them and which I listen to what their needs and what their wants are. And I develop a plan that is suited for that. The, I usually ask them, what would, in the best world, what would you want th to happen? Mm -hmm. And I go out and I build a plan. The fact that I am not a captive agent and I can go anywhere I want allows me to build a plan around that individual and versus just a cookie cutter type of investment plan for them. Also, uh, well, what makes your services better than the others, Jack? The fact that uh, I'm bilingual for one, so I could, I could help you if you wanted to speak Spanish. The fact that I can have at my hands, I have a, a variety of thousands of different type of investments you want and the fact that I deal mostly in conservative investments there's a class in which I teach it's called the ABC's of, of, of conservative investments I have attended your classes on the ABC's and it's very informative uh, uh, I can and people can actually understand it we, well, that's why it's called the ABCs of conservative investments. It allows an individual to literally understand each different instruments. When we talk about ABCs and in, uh, investments, mm -hmm. we literally break it down into three different aspects. Mm -hmm. There's the yellow, there's the green, and the red. And when I start talking to people and teaching people in the class, they start getting a better understanding where somebody might say, hey, I have a mutual fund, I have a cash value life insurance, and I have a savings plan. How do you put those together? And is it really going to develop the plan that they're trying to do? So when I break it down into three different aspects, I literally say, okay, and this particular in, in the what we call the yellow, the cash aspect, mm -hmm. that is where we have to put a, a minimum of six months worth of your living expenses at. That is consist is made up of bank products, mm -hmm. CDs, money marts, things such as that. And when you put money in there, what are some of the pros and cons about that? Well, some of the pros and cons, the pros and cons would be that you have uh, protection, mm -hmm. you have liquidity, one of the drawbacks would be that you're not getting much in the way of return. I was driving down the freeway the other day and I saw a advertisement that we're going to give you 1.25% on a one-year CD. I'm sorry, a 18-month CD. Mm -hmm. Well, by the time you pay the taxes on it, uh, you're making less than 1%. <laughs> I can take that same money in the same amount of time and put it in the green money category and I can make you 2.7. Um, if you know anything about arithmetic, 2.707 versus one, <laughs> uh, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Then I take people and I put them into what they call the green category. The green category has three different aspects that is very important for it to be even classified mm -hmm, in green. Mm -hmm. uh, it protects your principal. That means you will never ever lose any money whatsoever. The second aspect is you would never lose any gains. So even though the market may go down after you've made a, made a gain of 5 or 4% one year, the next year it will drop down 40%, you would not lose it. It would reestablish itself and go from that point forward. And the third most important thing for most people when they're coming into the office nowadays is it gives them income for life. And everybody says, what do you mean by income <laughs> for life? Everybody gets very befuddled over that. What happens is the companies will take what your investment in and they are going to base it off 
the life expectancy of the individual. Mm -hmm. And let's take a male. It's 78. So if you're 65 years of age, that would mean you have about 13 years in which they're going to pay the money out. At 78, all your money would be completely liquidated. Wow. But we said it's for life. So they would, even though you live to the age of 83 or 85, they would continue to pay you the money. So you never outlive your money. Now, just like in the yellow category, has to, you have protection. Yeah. You have moderate liquidity, and you have um, moderate returns. That's in the green category. And then we go into the red category, and most people say, wow, I'm, everything I have is in the red category. <laughs> red category merely means this. You're 100% at risk. Yeah. Mutual funds, stocks, uh, RITs, variable annuities, and 401ks. Mm -hmm. And everybody says, 401ks? How can a 401k be in a high risk? And he says, because most people don't realize when they put their monies into a 401k, mm -hmm. they're hoping yeah. that the money that they're putting in there is going to give them a return when they get ready to step away. Well, we're in the green category. We literally can tell you to the penny and to the day how much money you're going to receive. Now, the red category, high risk, high return, but a high possibility of loss. You have liquidity, and it's only as good as the selling of it when you get ready to take it to market and sell it. And no protection, 100% of risk. I mean, you're taking, say, here, guy, take my money, go invest it for me, and if you make me money, great. If you don't make me money, you're still going to charge me. <laughs> That's not a good deal at all. I don't think so, but <laughs> uh, you'd be surprised. Most people don't realize we grew up in a period of time where yeah. we know the bank, the savings accounts, yeah. and we know the stock market. Exactly. You don't realize there's something in the middle, and people are now start, they're starting to flock, and they're looking for protection, mm -hmm. and they're looking for a modest return, and they're looking for guarantees. We can provide that to them by using the ABCs of conservative investments. Uh, my next question, Jack, is uh, how many years of experience do you have as a financial advisor? I'm not going to age myself, but let's say over 20 years. Over 20 years. <laughs> I've, um, I started in the actual banking industry in which uh, I've worked for a company mm -hmm. which no longer in existence called Oak Cliff Bank mm -hmm. in Oak Cliff, Texas. <laughs> uh, and, I, and that was back in, well, let's say... In the 70s. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I've been in the industry for quite some time. It, it sounds like you have because, uh, but also I was going to ask you, what are your principles? My principles all go back to the ABCs of conservative investments. I literally, literally go out and protect people's assets. Mm, yeah. As I said to you, most people over the age of 60, they're looking for protection. Um, Right now, we're in the middle of a bear's market. We've been in this bear's market since the year 2000. And most people say, well, what is a bear's market? Mm -hmm. I hear it, but I really don't know what it is. Bear's market has three characteristics. Um, high unemployment, yeah. low interest rate, and a lot of pessimism in the country. And we have all three of those. And 2000, there's a gentleman who wrote a book called the Bear, um, what was the name of that? Anyway. He said in 2003, there would be a bear's market. Well, that's when we had the bubble burst yeah. and everything went down. Dot com. Mm -hmm. And then in 2008, he said every eight years, we have a significant one. Well, what happened in 2008? Everybody realizes that we had the housing burst and then we had the financial burst. So now we're in 2012. We're due for another significant bears market, a fall in the market. Everybody talks about this um, fiscal cliff right now. Yeah. And I was just reading this morning when I, before coming over here that they're actually considering about letting it go forward and then they're going to readjust it after it goes forward. Back in February, they're going to pull it back for the people under $250,000 in income. Um, I don't know about you, but I can't take a six-week period of time in which I'm going to lose a vast majority of my no. income. <laughs> and, and that's, so those are some of the principal things I like to work around. 
Great. Uh, who should invest with Viveros and Associates? Anyone. I am not prejudiced towards any person. Money is money. If you want to invest and you want to hear some good plans, something that's going to make you comfortable, I call, what I do, I call, I sell sleep insurance. Yeah. It sounds kind of corny, but it's truthful. You know that when you go to bed at night and you wake up in the morning, you're not going to have to look at the paper and say, oh my gosh, the market moved 50 <laughs> points, it lost 75 yeah. points. I sell sleep insurance. So anybody who wants to be able to sleep comfortably and know they're going to get a good return and a safe return is somebody that needs to come to me. Great. Uh, I was going to say also, uh, how, s how would someone contact you with any questions regarding financial advice or investments? There's several different ways you can reach me. You can go on my Facebook, which is Jack Viveros. Uh, you can go on my website, which is jeviveros.com. You can go on my email address, which is jeviveros at att.net, or you can call my office, 972-406-9460. Mm -hmm. Do you do uh, house calls? Uh, yes, I do. I actually do one-on-ones. A lot of people, I will meet them once. I'll meet one of the other people, and they says, hey, I need for you to bring, I need to bring in my spouse. Do you mind meeting me? And I mm -hmm. says, so I will go to your house, or if we want to go to a Starbucks, or some people say, yeah. I don't want to bring you to the house. It's too dirty or something. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and no problem. I'll do that. Okay, uh, the history behind uh, Viveros and Associates, can you tell us a little bit about that? Uh, the history of Viveros and Associates actually started way back uh, in the 70s. I have two younger brothers that are in the business yeah. as well. They live in Corpus Christi. They actually work the Valley area, uh, San Antonio, Laredo, and in the Valley in Corpus Christi. I work here. I have my son that works with me up here. and. We've been doing this, like I say, since the 70s. So that's where it all started. Great. Uh, also, uh, what is your approach when clients get uneasy when the market is down? What is my approach? Well, one of the very first things I do when I talk to an individual and I'm asking them, in a perfect world, what would you want to occur? Again, I listen very carefully and I says, okay, so basically you're looking for something that's going to protect you. And mm -hmm. I said, yes. And I says, I want something that I'm not paying a lot of fees. And he says, unfortunately, every time I talk to somebody that sound sounds really good, but all of a sudden I'm paying all these fees. Mm -hmm. He says, I don't understand what these fees are about. So when they come to me, I'm able to develop that plan. Again, by listening very carefully and not being captive, I'm able to go out and develop a plan for that individual. Great, Jack. Uh, also, I was going to ask you, is, is there any awards or recognition that you'd like to mention uh, uh, to our listeners? One of the ones which is I'm very, very proud of is the fact that I am in a, a, a very prestigious organization that you have to be asked to participate mm -hmm. in. And it's called the Million Dollar Roundtable. Um, and it is exactly like it sounds. You have to do so much in the way of performance to even qualify for it, and then you have to be invited to even be a part of it. I've been a part of it for quite some time. I've been very fortunate in mm -hmm. my job to actually qualify for this. That's, but that would probably be the most, what I'd want to share. Uh, that is the most important for me being in the financial industry. Great. Uh, well, Jack, uh, any last words that you would like to let our audience uh, know? or? Um, at the present time, I am teaching a class at the Webb Chapel Church of Christ. I am teaching one of my ABC classes on Tuesday at 6.30 to 8.30. If you'd like to come, I would ask that you call me at the office at 972-406-9460, and we can set it up for you. Uh, if you just decide you want to drop in, I would ask that you drive around to the back entrance where the rectory is at, and that's where we come in. To, enter to the go to the class because if you pull up to the front of the church it's going to look completely empty but the classrooms are on the back side of the church okay once again uh, if people want to get a hold of you where can they uh, contact you for more information two ways i would say the quickest way to get to me would be the phone number uh, the office number 972-406-9460 or 
email, email me at jevivetos at jevivetos at att.com. Well, Jack, we thank you so dot much. Net, I'm sorry, dot net. <laughs> you got it? Yeah, dot net. Well, Jack, we thank you so much for uh, dropping by the DFW Business Hour. It's been a pleasure. And thank you so much for all the financial advice that you have given us. Um, and we thank you once again. Thank you very much, Art. I appreciate you inviting me. Have a great day. I am. Thank you.